Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 26. Oh, <laughs> and I had that minimized. Oop. We're starting, we're starting, we're starting to uh, get a little punchy, only two episodes into the stream. I clearly need a little more coffee. Good thing uh, I pour it by the pint. Yes, that is actually coffee. Uh, I have found that the uh, glass makes an excellent coffee mug, uh, as well as further beverages. So, we started our way through the Angel Village. We found out that Ishtar likes to paint people, and everybody that he paints mysteriously disappears. And, oh yeah, there, there was this Kara person, who should seem kind of familiar to us, who uh, he decided he wanted to paint. Uh, I, gee, I wonder what we're going to find at the end of this dungeon when we get to his studio. We've got about seven more guys over here to knock out. We need to find our way to Karim. This is the door that we want to finish with. Uh, we cleared out the first couple of doors, because if you remember, the lady who said how to get to the studio said to follow the way the wind blows. And if you look at those torches, we got the one going that way, we got the one going that way. Uh, that means that that is the actual path that we want. But if you also remember how this game works, when you kill all the bad guys, you get your power-ups. So we need to finish clearing everybody out here. Ah, gotcha. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. Four more to go. Nice. Okay. Up. And down. And up. Oop. Oh. Ah. Stop hitting me. I know, I did it to myself. Ooh, there we go. Yes, <laughs> okay, good. Our hit point power increased. And it gave us a very necessary bump to our hit points, which is always nice, okay. And, oh, there's only one, okay, only one doorway. Just trying to keep an eye on where we're supposed to be going again. I'm trying to make sure that I get all 50 gems so I can show you everything in here. Ooh, this got dark. Oh, yeah, I guess the telekinesis won't block the bats. Um, yeah, that took a little bit more uh, more of the hit points off than I wanted. Is there another one? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Hey! Y'all can go away. Be gone, bats. Ooh, strength increase. I'll take that. And that's it for the bad guys. <laughs> okay. Um, there's supposed to be six of them? I guess we did take care of all six of them. Because when you get all of them, that's when you get your strength boost. Okay. Take the door at the far right. And... There are seven guys and a treasure chest over here. Although the guy keeps saying that there's no enemies here. Um, that part has me concerned. No, oh, they must be further on down the floor. All right, so I'm supposed to follow the wind, right? The wind blows. There a crack in the wall. I found a hidden pass. Da -da 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 -da. Again, because remember, look, we're looking at the walls. So we got that torch going that way, that torch going that way, that, m and that is the <laughs> because of the generation game this is. That's the only place a door could have been. So there we go, and. Da -da -da. An entrance, and then we got. We still haven't gotten to the gems. There are supposed to be three gems in here, which is half the way to uh, the next power up we're looking for. Oh, oh my. Okay, that was not as bad as I was expecting. Okay, so far so good, right? We got three more. 
two more. Oh, of course, it's going to be you guys. Yep. I ain't getting near that. And defense. Nice. Um, since football's canceled, uh, <laughs> I guess that's the only chance I get to yell defense. Oh, sad. Okay, so we got those guys. We got um slide through the hole. Okay, this is where our first red jewel is. Remember, we got the little psycho slide thing to slide through gaps like that, and that's where da -da 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 -da, a red jewel is. All right, let's uh, do ourselves a favor. Send that joker on to jam like now. And that's all that's in there. Yep. Yeah, okay. I I know the entrance is too small. That's why I was trying to do that. There we go. All right, now, oh, okay, so this is going to be the fun part because we're going to be in a literal wind tunnel. And, oh, oh, bother. Come on. All because I hit the scroll bar now, all of a sudden. There we go. Let's try that again. You know, it's nice. It's a three-day weekend. Ah! No! Oh. Yeah! That's... Okay, that's not helpful. That's not helpful. That only sort of works. There we go. And there's our hit point increased again. Awesome, especially because we could use the health. Running against the wind. That must also mean that's all the bad guys in there. All right, let's uh, stop here for just a second, just to double check. All right, so we got the wind pushing him back, yada, yada. Two skull turrets. Um, got them. Yada yada. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. So we got nine cave bats in the next area. And a bunch of other people. All right. Nothing fancy. Kill them all. We'll get a defense boost at the end of all this. And then we exit sliding through the hole. Okay, so this one is, again, pretty simple and straightforward. This would help if I had, you know, hit the buttons in the right order. Now, supposedly, if you're skilled enough, you can actually get the Psycho Slide to hit all three of them. Obviously, I am not sufficiently skilled to make that happen. Nope. Nope, that's still only two of them. But there's our defense boost. That's all... Okay. Um... Am I the only one that gets really nervous whenever games start giving you a bunch of boosts? Like, you start going through and you get a lot of stuff all of a sudden. Like, you know, you got strength and health and hit points and it's all, it's all spaced out nice and gently. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you start getting like buff 
after buff after buff. Or like in Fallout, you just start finding all sorts of, of health gear and that kind of and ammo and big honking stacks. Like, hmm, something's up. Or am I the only one who feels that way? All right, I guess I'm the only one that feels that way. All right, so we got them. We got through the hole. And here there are no enemies. Can confirm. All right. Um, thought there was another jewel near here. Hunting from the left. Stand between the fourth and fifth statues. Uh, and there, there's an actual in-game hint over here, too, because there's supposed to be a spot where your hair blows like that. Yeah, I guess there is nothing else over there. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. I found a hidden pass. All right, no enemies over here. And on over to the right. Three doors. Enter the... S okay. Okay. Is there anything over here on the left? I always wonder about that. You only see two ways to go and it says definitely head to the right. Alright, so we cross ledges and waterfalls and we want to enter the second door and search the red jar on the left. You found a red jewel. All right, that is the second one. Um, oh, okay. Then that's where the third one is. All right, so let's um, send this off. Ta-da! All right. Um, that does look like Kara. Kara's picture. She's contained inside it. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Now we need to go to the third door. And talk to Ishtar. I wonder if you're here to get Kara. Go into this room. If you solve all the riddles, I'll give back the girl. Okay. Um, all right, where? All right. So we go into the first door. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the conditions of the room. Sorry, that's the best resounding I can do after a, after a long day of work. When you've learned it, leave the room. Okay. Ishtar's voice resounds. Show how it's different. Oh, I hate these games. What's well, different? Uh... Yeah, that is. Right answer. The jar has changed color. Your room is a jar. <laughs> okay. So now we get to do this again for round two. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. All right, so we got the two red jars down there. We got the two photos. Photos. Paintings. <laughs> oh, that's easy. The jars have changed again. Right answer. Good. Go on to the next room. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn well the condition of the room. Yada, yada. 
a I could use I could always use another herb I was running a little short on those and it is a limited resource there's only but so many in the game period full stop all right um <laughs> I bet that's different right answer how have the contents of the jewel box changed <laughs> that's where our last red jewel is or at least the last one for this area so there's our third yes there's our third red jewel so we got the three that come in here Ishtar's voice resounds learn well the conditions of that room when you've learned it leave the room all right um okay got the statues more statues and a rock oh do any of you see it game's trying to be a little too clever by half um Nothing in the actual room has changed except the fact that your hair is blowing. Right answer. The wind blew your hair around. You have passed my test well. You may return. Answer me these questions three. And the other side of the bridge ye shall see. Are you going to ask me what my favorite color is? Or just what is my quest? No, you already knew what my quest was. Oh, it's Ishtar. I have been waiting for you. Sprinkle magic powder on the painting and give it a kiss. If you care about her deeply, something will happen. You'll see. I painted a self-portrait. Soon I will become the painting. You must take care of her. What do you care? Da -da -da, we found magic dust. I was kind of wondering what would happen if you used the magic dust on Ishtar. Nobody actually says anything in any of the guides. And, uh, we're so close to the end of the episode that I don't want to uh, spend the time on that. So let's uh, head back over to the painting. Why do I get the feeling that whether I actually care about Kara, something's going to happen anyway? He tries using the magic powder. He spreads magic powder on Kara's picture. Kiss it. Kara, please return to your original form. Will gently kisses the picture of Kara. And for your next trick... Will, sorry for being so selfish. Kara, you make me so mad. You are not the only person on this journey. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the way to do this. <laughs> oh, you, you're getting tears all over my flute. I, I don't know what I'm doing myself. Wait, what? I don't know what I'm doing myself. Okay. When I was in the castle, I could have anything I wanted. But I was a completely different person before this trip. Naturally. It's a mistake to think you can... Huh? No. No? Yes. When I'm far away, I feel close to it. When I'm close, I feel far away. I realize that now. It's all right if you don't understand. Well, as long as it's all right, because I sure don't understand. I will never forget what happened today. Well, okay then. All right. Yeah, let, let's uh, finish up this conversation. It means the episode is going to run a little bit longer than normal. However, uh, today, the day that I'm recording this, is. <laughs> Since I don't have work the next day, 
Uh, I forgot that the shop was closed for the holiday on Friday. So, well, the holiday Saturday. The shop is closed on Friday, um, which means that it's okay if I run a little bit longer today. All right, back to the show. Kara, I was worried. Why are you always running ar around alone? Didn't you think about the rest of us? I, I already chastised her. What? Oh. <laughs> Will already yelled at me about that. My apologies to everyone. She understands now. We should forgive her. We should probably also hire writers that put a little more depth into this. I mean, look, look, don't don't hear what I'm not saying. This is from the SNES. There's only but so much storage space. There's only but so much you can do. But there were a lot of games with better dialogue. I think the floating city is about three days south of here. I think we should go there right away. Tell me when you're ready. All right, let's talk to everybody first. And since Neil is the one, uh, he's the last one we should probably talk to. Is there anybody else around here? Just to... Okay, nope. In the floating city, many houses are built on rafts. Kind of romantic. I like it. Lily will have her birthday while we're in the floating city. Kara looks a little strange. Has something happened to Kara? My intuition is usually good. I think I saw a red jewel in the Angel Village. Okay. I'm glad they told me. Uh, just because it... it this is like one of the very rare instances the game gives you a hint that you're missing one. I, I just wish it wasn't quite so blatant. Like, you know. <laughs> let, let me hit you with this clue by floor of budget, bludgeoning. Can we go now? Yes, we can go now. I think it's very hot in the floating city. Everyone be careful not to get heat stroke. Will we get heat stroke? find out in the next episode of <laughs> this is where i say thank you for joining along if you're watching live on twitch hang tight there's still more to come basically what i do is on thursdays at 6 p.m us eastern i live stream the recording of the next six episodes that will go up on youtube so it, hang tight if you're watching live now, there's a couple of different ways you can help out. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you get notified when I go live. Like I said, I do this on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. On Tuesdays at 6 p.m., I also do Coffee Craft, a Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. And I'm hoping to be able to squeeze in an extra odd stream here and there when I can. If you follow along, you'll always know. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube page to the YouTube channel. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and various other bits get posted. And uh, if you want to get actual alerts on that, don't forget about the bell thingy. And if you actually enjoyed it, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. That all helps the channel out. It's a free way to help the channel out. And um, if you haven't, consider supporting the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go over to live.anonjunior.com. That will forward you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. How much I leave up to you, because again, this is a straight up value for value proposition. So whatever it is that you feel like you're getting out of that, consider giving a little bit back, even if it's just enough for a fresh cup of coffee. So uh, thank you. Live folks, give me just a few minutes to throw up the screen, get my edit point and all that good stuff. And um, then we'll be back for the next four episodes. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.